Hi, welcome back. So how to crochet a bucket hat. This I'll show you today in this tutorial and we will do it in rainbow colors for my little girl. I will show you the measurements all along the way. This is for a little baby who is about eight months. Um, and just go ahead and measure the top of the head if you want to do it in other sizes. But I will explain it along the way and go forward very slowly and explain everything I'm doing. So let's begin. So I found this yarn in my closet and I really wanted a bucket hat for my baby. I think the colors are amazing, but I didn't think there was enough for a whole hat in this little ball. So I mixed it with this dark yellow. I put two together and made a sample and the result was amazing. So I'm so looking forward to this. You see, if I mix them, it's really going to shine. I absolutely love them. This is a lightweight too. And also this one is also a lightweight. So when you put them together, it's a medium weight four. So if you just find any medium weight four yarn, you can follow this tutorial. I know Red Heart and Hobby has amazing colors if you want to do rainbow like me. So just go ahead and have fun with the colors. Besides the yarn, you will need some scissors, a crochet hook size five millimeters, a tapestry needle and a stitch marker. I didn't have a stitch marker by hand, so I just used a bobby pin. And then you'll need some measuring tape. To begin this, we make a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn. Take the long end of the yarn behind the loop and grab the yarn from the middle with your crochet hook. Then we make a little chain of four. Sew yarn over and pull through. Yarn over pull through four times. That's it. Now we have a little chain. We will now connect the ends of the chain. So insert your needle in the first chain we did. There. And then yarn over and pull through both loops. Whoops, I lost both loops. Yarn over and pull through both loops. Then we made a little circle and you see there's a gap in the middle and this is where we will crochet the first round. We will do eight half double crochet in the first round. So yarn over and insert your needle into the space in the middle and grab the yarn, pull through. We have three loops on the needle, yarn over and pull through all of those three loops. This is our first half double crochet. We can put a stitch marker in it so we don't lose it. We know this is our first stitch. And then we yarn over, insert the needle into the gap, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all of the three loops. Yarn over, insert the needle into the gap, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And again, we will continue doing half double crochet until we have eight half double crochet in the in the ring and who's counting i'm not one two six so i'm doing another two one left to go that's it and you see the colors is also like a little rainbow. It's really pretty. So pull out your crochet hook and for the next, uh, sorry, your stitch marker, of course. For the next round, we will do two half double crochet in every stitch. Remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell if you want to be notified. So this is the first stitch. And we will do two half double crochet into this. So yarn over, 
insert your needle into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through all three loops. I will insert the stitch marker yet again, so we know that's the first stitch. And we are about to make another half double crochet into the same stitch because we made two half double crochet in every stitch. So yarn over, find the next stitch and do your half double crochet. And another half double crochet into the same stitch. And just continue until you have two half double crochet in every stitch all the way until here. At the end, just before the stitch marker, and we will now pull out the stitch marker. And for the next round, we will crochet one half double crochet into the first stitch. Then we will put in our stitch marker into the stitch we just did. And then for the next one, we will do two half double crochet. So do one half double crochet and another half double crochet into the same stitch. Then a stitch with just one half double crochet. And then an increase, two half double crochet in the same stitch. So each time we do two half double crochet in the same stitch, we do an increase. So just one half double crochet and an increase, one half double crochet and an increase, all the way until you are at the very last stitch. And then pull out the stitch marker. And for this next round, we do two half double crochet and then an increase. So yarn over and do one half double crochet into the first stitch. Remember to insert your stitch marker again. So we don't lose track. And then another half double crochet in the next stitch. And then an increase. So two half double crochet into the same stitch. Then two stitches with only one half double crochet and then an increase in the next one. So two half double crochet and an increase, two half double crochet and an increase. Continue all the way around. Remember to pull out your stitch marker for the next round. Then make a half double crochet into the same stitch. And that's your first stitch. So. Put in your stitch marker yet again. And we continue. Two more. So yarn over. Find your next stitch and do a half double crochet. And another. So that's three half double crochet. Yep, yeah, three half double crochet, then an increase. Continue. Three half double crochet, then two half double crochet in the same stitch and three half double crochet and then an increase all the way around. I already removed the stitch marker for the next round. This is our first stitch. We will do one half double crochet in the first stitch. And remember the stitch marker in the first one. And that's the first stitch and we will do four and then an increase. So four half double crochet 
and then an increase. So one, two, three, four, and then you increase, and then you do four, and then an increase, all the way until back here. And we're done with row six, and I removed my stitch marker. And now for the seventh round, this is the final round we are going to increase. We will do five half double crochet and then an increase. So for the first stitch, you do one half double crochet to begin with. Put in your stitch marker and do another four half double crochet. That's one, two three four five and then an increase and you continue all the way around and then we will begin something new after row number seven we have this flat circle and this is the top of the of the hat we have about hmm, 13 and a half centimeters if you're doing a bigger hat of course you will just continue the same pattern next round will be six half double crochet and then an increase right here so I'm doing this for my baby, so I will stop increasing right now and we will begin moving downwards from here. So the eighth row, this will be the first row where we stop increasing and begin the next part. And we will just be doing one half double crochet in each stitch, but we will only be working in the front loop. So you see this is a V on top and this is the back loop. And this is the front loop, and we will only be working in this front loop in this eight row. So we half double crochet, yarn over, and then we go down and insert the needle in the front post. And then do our half double crochet. And then the next one, yarn over, and insert your needle in the front post. And do your half double crochet. Yarn over, front post of the next stitch, and half double crochet. So continue one front post half double crochet in each stitch all the way until you finish this round. So after row number eight, you will remove the stitch marker and you see we have this this on the inside of the hat but it won't be noticeable because this is the outside and for the first stitch of the next row row number nine we will just do one regular half double crochet so you yarn over and insert your needle under both strands and do your half double crochet and you will continue to do one half double crochet in each and every stitch and you will continue that for the number of rows you find fitting for your hat. So just continue one half double crochet in each stitch round and round until your shade is big enough. So after we did four rows of these half double crochet each in every stitch we will begin row 13. So remove your stitch marker and we will now do a row where we only work in the front loop. So not in the back loop but in this front loop. And first we will do one, two, three, four half double crochet in the front loop. So yarn over, insert your needle into the front loop and do your half double crochet and again that's two almost three that's it and the fourth one that's it and now we will make an increase so we yarn over and insert the needle in the fourth, fifth, sorry, and do another one into the same stitch 
and remember only in the front loop. Now you do another four regular half double crochet in the front loop. So that's two and three. And yarn over, insert your needle in the front loop. And that's four. And we will now make an increase. So yarn over, insert your needle in the front loop. Do your half double crochet. And yarn over, insert your needle in the same front loop. And do an another half double crochet. So four half double crochet in the front loop and then an increase also in the front loop and you continue all the way around so after this row we see the the shape is beginning to bend a bit because we were only working in the front loop and now remove your stitch marker and for the next round we will do half double crochet in the regular stitch again so a regular half double crochet so yarn over do your first stitch and remember to put in your stitch marker so that's one and we will do five half double crochet so yarn over insert your needle into this first or second stitch yarn over into the next and you just regular half double crochet and I forgot counting into five four five for the next one and then an increase so in this next stitch we do two half double crochet so insert your needle do your half double crochet and into the same stitch we do another half double crochet so for this row 14 we do five half double crochet and then an increase five half double crochet and then an increase and for the next round we can take that uh, now remove your stitch marker and do a round of half double crochet again but we now do six half double crochet and then an increase six half double crochet and then an increase so now this is row 14 you do five half double crochet and then an increase and for the next row uh, for the next round row 15 you do six half double crochet and then an increase so we will meet up at row number 16 we are now almost at the end and we will remove the stitch marker and do one row of half double crochet so yarn over insert your needle in the first stitch and insert your stitch marker in the first stitch and for the next stitch one half double crochet And continue one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around and we will begin the final row together for this final round row mm, 16 we remove the stitch marker one last time and now we just want to make a, a, a beautiful edge so we begin with one single crochet into the first stitch and then we do a slip stitch in this next stitch so insert your needle wrap the yarn and pull through both so now we went a step down and slip stitch insert your needle wrap the yarn pull through pull through insert your needle wrap the yarn pull through pull through 
So we do one slip stitch in each stitch all the way around and that will make a special edge so it's not just these loose stitches it becomes more beautiful this way so after this we're done so snip the yarn and weave in your ends and you're done you have your own little bucket hat i think it's really really cute so i hope you found the tutorial easy to follow if you did please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i hope to see you again soon bye